Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about TinyMC WYSIWYG HTML editor. TinyMC is the most advanced WYSIWYG HTML editor designed to simplify website, con uh, website content creation. Okay, so let's see how we can use TinyMC in Laravel 7. So first of all, create a new controller. So switch to the command prompt and here uh, just to stop the running application. So press Ctrl plus C and now just type here a command for creating new controller HP artisan make colon controller add a space controller name. Let's say controller name is editor controller. Okay, now press enter controller created now just run the application so type here php artisan serve ok now switch to the project and here and here just uh, go inside the app directory then http controllers and just open editor controller ok in editor controller just create a new function so just write here public public function or uh, function name let's say function name is editor and here simply return a view let's say view name is editor all right now just create this view so go inside the resources folder then views and inside the views directory just create a new view editor.blade.php ok inside editor.blade.php file uh, first of all write the stable 5 boilerplate so just type here exclamation sign and press tab now change here the title tiny mc editor HTML editor. Okay. Now uh, go to the web.php file and create a routes for this. So just open routes folder, routes folder, then open web.php and here just add the route get and URI editor okay and controller name which is editor controller and method name method name is editor okay now save the file go to the editor.blade.php file and here just add the cdn of a bootstrap 4 so switch to the browser and just go to the get bootstrap.com and from here just click on get started now copy this css and paste here and uh, copy the js file and just paste here okay now save the file all right now just add here the form so simply write here section then container container okay then go column md call md 6 oh, sorry 12 okay now here just add a form so just write here form tag method let's say post okay add here at the rate csrf now create a text area so just write here text area id is equal to my text area 
area okay and name is equal to my text area now close the text area all right Now save the file and let's check. So switch to the browser and here just type localhost 8000 slash editor. You can see here the regular text area. Okay. Now just open new tab and here search teeny mc. Okay. Now just click on first link and inside this URL just uh, click on get tiny mc for free okay this link from here uh, enter your email ID and uh, choose any password and simply create my Tini account. Okay, I have already account uh, Tini MC account, so I'm just going to click here and uh, okay, this is my email ID and password has entered, so just click on sign in. Okay, this is a PMC dashboard. Okay, let's click on dashboard and from here just copy this script from here to here. Okay, now switch to the project and inside the editor.blade.php file, just paste here. Okay, after this bootstrap CDN. Alright, now uh, let's configure the this text area with tinyMC. So just write here a script tag, then uh, tinyMC, dot init, and inside this init function, pass the object select. Okay, and just uh, pass here the uh, selector ID. So just copy this ID, my text area. Okay, and also add here the hash sign. All right. Okay. Now save the file and uh, let's check. So switch to the browser and just go to the localhost. 1000 editor and just refresh the page and here you can see tiny mc html editor okay from here you can write any text uh, i'm just going to type this paragraph and paste here you can change it with, uh, it with H, heading h1 okay this is the paragraph so using this tiny mc you can easily type your html code okay so in this way you can use tiny mc vizivig html editor in laravel 7 so that's all about tiny mc vizivig html editor so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.